Hello everyone, today we are going to see how to deploy to on-prem servers using Azure DevOps deployment groups. With deployment groups, we can install to on-prem servers behind firewalls. We don't even need to open any ports on the server. We will start with creating a new deployment group. Let's call it test deployment group. Let's create one. So we have created a new test deployment group. It gives you an agent registration script. You can run this script on the deployment server to register the agent with this deployment group. It gives you an option to embed a personal access token in the script for authentication. So I'm logged on to the server. I will just copy the agent script and run it. This pulls down the agent code and register the agent with the deployment group. I'll paste my personal access token and press enter. Deployment group tags is another interesting feature when we are deploying using deployment groups. You can use deployment group tags inside deployment groups to deploy only to specific group of servers. One deployment group can have multiple servers. When you are deploying, you can deploy to a set of servers based on associated tag. Let's enter web as a tag for this server agent. As you can see our agent is registered with the deployment group. Here is our tag that we entered while registering the agent. We will now deploy our code to the server. Let's start with creating a new release pipeline. We will select the artifacts that we want to deploy. In our case, we will deploy using Code Igniter files from DevOps repo. We'll select the project, repo, and the branch and version of the code that we need to deploy. Let's add a stage for deployment. We'll call it Dev Stage. Let's add a new deployment group job. We will select the deployment group and the tag that we entered on the server agent. We'll now add a copy files task. Let's select the source folder from the linked artifact. We'll enter the target folder on the deployment server where the files will be deployed. Let's save it. Press OK. Let's give our release pipeline a new name. Call it test release pipeline. Save it. Press OK. We'll create a new release from our newly created test release pipeline. Select the manual trigger and test release. Press create. So this is our release. Let's go quickly go to the server and see where we are going to deploy. We are going to deploy to our web servers root folder. It's empty right now. Let's press on deploy. Let's say first deployment. Press deploy. You see our request is queued for deployment. We can see the details of the deployment process. In progress. 
so it looks like our deployment is succeeded let's quickly go to the server and see if the files have been copied there you see all the files are copied to the server so this completes our deployment I'll now summarize the process that we just followed so we started with creating a new deployment group we register the agent with the deployment group by running the script on the deployment server then we created a new release pipeline we created a release using the pipeline and then we deployed using our newly created release so i hope this video helped anyone who's just starting to learn how to deploy using azure devops and i look forward to seeing you again thank you